In today's video, I'm going to take you through how to install the Fallout London mod for Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. It looks really complicated, but it's not really. This is for Steam only, so if you've got the GOG version, it's slightly different. Before we get into the video, there is a few things you will need to do. You need a fresh install of Fallout 4 with no anything else, no mods or anything like that. Total fresh install. Next, you will need the Fallout London downgrader and add-on mod, which I will put a link in the description. You will also need a GOG.com account. And if you don't own Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition, it's currently £13.99 on GOG or about £34.99 on Steam. Just to cover if you wonder if your Fallout 4 is installed correctly or you've uninstalled and removed everything, what you want to do is right click on it and go to properties, go to DLC and you want all these ticked, that will show it's installed correctly. Next up, if you want to make sure you've got a fresh install, just go manage, uninstall, back to manage once it's uninstalled and go to browse local files and just delete the Fallout 4 directory and get rid of everything that's in there. Now that that's all out the way, we can get on with downgrading this thing. So recently Fallout 4 got a next gen update which kind of screwed things over, which is why we have to downgrade. So come on to Nexus Mods, again, you will need an account. Go to files, on here, click manual, download, and download this file. Once it's downloaded, open it up. Do not click on this little blue folder to find your Steam path. You'll have to type in manually. Remember to find it. Again, go to Steam, right click, go to browse local files, and that's how you find it, and just type it in. So you can see mine's on eSteam, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Fallout 4. If you click that, you'll get a little thing saying that. Click continue. Now, this is where you're going to go off on two different directions. If you're happy to give this company your username and password for Steam, feel free and it'll do it all for you. If you're not happy with that, which I wasn't, you'll have to do it manually and there's a slightly different process. To do it manually, Come on to fallout4london.com, go to release. Once you're on release, come down here to downgrade in Fallout 4 manually. It looks really confusing, but I can guarantee it's not too bad. In your browser, type this, so Steam Open Console, and this will open a console version of Steam Up. And if we look here, click Console, and we're now in the console. So what you want to do is copy and paste each one of these one by one. So highlight, copy, into Steam, paste, press enter, and download them all for each one. So download them all for each one. So you can see here, there's quite a few. You don't need to do the HD texture pack. In fact, I don't even own that, so it wouldn't work. But yes, everything else is needed. So just run down the list and download them all. These will download into this folder here. So once it's finished, I want you to navigate to this folder here. This is where they will all be downloaded. So now you can see here, I have a bunch of folders. Now the instructions didn't make this very clear. So just to point out how you do it, if you open each one up, you will see items included. Like that one just has the Fallout 4 exe file. All the rest have a mix of data and stuff like that. We're going to go back to Steam. We're going to click Library. We're going to go on Fallout 4. We're going to click Browse Local Files. And we're going to bring up the Fallout 4 directory. So just put these two side by side. So as you can see, I was messing around because it doesn't explain it very well. So what you want to do is open each one of these up. Click and drag into your Fallout 4 folder. So just click, drag, drop, replace the files in this destination every time. And you want to do that for each of these files. Once that is done, your game is downgraded to the version that works. Once you've done that, you want to come into data. This list here, you want to delete anything beginning with the letter CC. 
So just to show you how that looks, this is what you want to delete. Everything with a CC in front of it. Get rid of it. That's for the creation club. Right, next up is to stop your game updating because if it does, this is going to break Fallout London. So you want to go to your Steam apps folder. So just where you found all your games before or Fallout 4, just click the back button. It'll go back there. You can see the link here. Mine's under a little bit different because I have mine installed in a different location. But you're looking for Steam Apps and then App Manifest 377160. Right click, go to Properties and tick Read Only. That'll stop it updating. Now you've done all that, you're finally <laughs> I know, ready to install the mod. So if you're going to use the GOG website, go onto the website just on the main page, click on out now, click go to giveaway. That will then add it to your library. Go to your username at the top, go down to games, find Fallout London, click the down arrow, and then just click download. That will download a little file, which is basically GOG Galaxy, which I'll show you in the next step. If you're using GOG Galaxy, which I use, it's like the web-based version. It's a bit like Steam. Again, go to Discover. You can see it on the front page here. So just click Claim Now. Or if you've got it from the GOG website, it'll install this for you. Once you're on there, click Owned Games. You will see Fallout London here. Click on it. Up here, you will see install. Obviously, I have mine installed now, so I've just got the play button. Click install. You'll be asked to select the installation folder. Select your Fallout 4 folder, and then just click the install, and it'll do all the install for you. So if you see any errors about version numbers or that you have got the incorrect version of the game installed, just go back a step and make sure you've got the downgrader correct. And now you're ready to click play. And off you go to play it. And there we go. Fallout 4 is loading up. No issues at all. Anyway, guys, I hope you found that video useful. I'll catch you all later. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.